Hi everyone, my name is David Granham. My gender pronouns are he, him, his. My name is Ashley Evers. My pronouns are she, her, hers. My name is John Friedman. I'm half Chinese. My pronouns are she, her. I'm Mike Lubeck. I'm 22 years old and I'm a content creator on the 1824 team. I'm gay and mixed race. I identify as bisexual. I identify as bisexual. I'm an Afro-Caribbean American male that is queer. <laughs> um, I'm not really big into labels though. Since COVID-19 and the Black Lives Matter protests began this year, I've been more self-aware than usual that this is such an important moment in history. I think that this moment is very good in highlighting specifically the racial injustices that Black Americans continue to face ever since the founding of this country. There are positives out of this, and I do see how some people are starting to empathize with Black and Brown people, and I think that's important. But as a Black person, I think that this is definitely a traumatic time period because there is microaggressions and racial prejudices and racial biases um, that you can just feel in your core. The history of the LGBTQ community and the Black community in America are vastly different, but the oppression of each still stems from this idea of fearing the other. Right now in both communities, all we're asking for is equality. One of Martin Luther King's right hands man, Bayard Rustin, was an openly queer Black man in the 60s. So. I think that it's empowering to know that, that this fight has been intersectional for years. The Civil Rights Movement and the Stonewall Riots took place around the same time in history, and both of those were catalysts for enormous social change. So in these times, I think it's important to remember that we need to be on the side of all marginalized groups, and it doesn't really help if you're a supporter of one civil movement and not the other. At certain times, it's important to highlight one over the other, but in general, we need to remember that we need to be on the side of all groups that are still fighting for equality. We all have something we're fighting for, acceptance, love, purpose, respect.